Alright guys, so I started this series for my channel a while ago and I've only done one and I'm sorry. I got really busy with work and then I got sick. I'm still a little bit sick. I'm um, not really sick, I have really bad allergies. But I'm going to continue with the mini resin review. Um, I've also included a briar mold since I haven't done it in a while, so let's get started. Alright, the first resin I chose to talk about is She's a Carnival. She's by Sarah Mink. I'm going to show you all her angles. I chose Shiza because um, Sarah does still sell these once in a while when she has her batch sales. Um, so you can still get her from Sarah if you're willing to wait for the randomness when Sarah has one and you're quick. Otherwise you have to get her second hand. She's not quote unquote sold out because Sarah does sell them but she's not just readily available. You can't just go and order her. So anyways this is She's a Carnival. She's roughly a um, little bit slash stable mate scale. She has fantastic details, um, as just does all of Sarah's work. Um, really good body sculpting detail, muscles. I love the feathers on her, if we can get a focus in there. The light's kind of bright, so my, my focus might not be fantastic. Um, she has a cute little head. Um, one thing that my camera's not going to pick up because her face is white is the Sarah did a really great job sculpting the underside of her head. And it says it's focusing, but clearly it's doing a really bad job. Um, her hair detail is really good, and that's another thing Sarah is extremely well known for. You can see it there. Um, her muzzle detail is exceptional. Now, Shiza is going to run you... Um, I think it's between $85 and $95 including shipping from Sarah. Um, like I said, you can still get her from Sarah if you're patient and you wait for Sarah to have them available and stuff like that. Um, otherwise you can get her second hand. Um, unpainted on the second hand market, I've seen her for about $125. That seems to be about her second hand price. Alright, the traditional I chose to talk about is Supernova. I chose to talk about Supernova because it seems like when people have these questions uh, about resins, they like to do about ones that are available. Um, Supernova is still available from Maggie Bennett. Right now I'm just going to show you all the angles. Mine is painted. If you get it from Maggie, obviously it's going to be unpainted. Um, I think Maggie will take painted orders. Um, but you'd have to contact Maggie about that. I don't know any details. Mine's not painted by Maggie. Okay, so this is Supernova. He's a traditional sized Arabian. Um, I made mine part Arab, as you can tell. Supernova is my favorite sculpt by Maggie, including, you know, Trinizato and everything. I love him way more. The uh, facial detail on this guy is great, as you can see. My favorite thing about him is his little open mouth um, and his teeth. It's very creative. It gives him a lot of personality. You see that lip right there hanging out. Um, it's one of my favorite things about him. Um, the overall body detail is really good, which is something I really like. I don't like it to be over exaggerated, um, but obviously on Arabs, I want it to be a little bit more than on certain breeds because the Arabs are, um, you know, a more lean breed. Let's see. Uh, she did give him. Shade Bridal Path, which I also really like. Some people might not, so I wanted to point it out. Again, the sculpting detail on his neck is just fantastic. Um, I do like him as a part Arab, personally, but I have seen him shown as a full Arab. I think he's a very reasonably priced Arab. You can get him from Maggie. I think it's $255 for shipping within the U.S. Um... Shot of it sculpting in his tail, it's really cool. Um, here's the underside. As you can see, again, his face, which is just my favorite thing ever. You can even see she sculpted underneath the neck. So, if you need a nice Arab for your show string, I really recommend this guy. Um, you won't have to spend hundreds and hundreds like some of the top showing Arabs go for, but he's also a really fun mold. Um, 
as far as showing goes, he can be hit or miss with judges, um, but I really like him. All right. The next resin-ish thing I want to talk about, because I always get questions about these, is the Ceramink Cubies. Um, I always get questions if they're worth it or not. I say yes. So this is, if you were to get a mink, a Cubie from Ceramink, this is what they look like. You get them in a color. Sometimes you don't know. Other times you know. It's just a little, um, you know, uh, they're called Cubies, but it's like a little medallion type thing. It'll say the breed somewhere on it that she sculpted in. Have uh, Sarah's signature stuff. On the back, it um, won't always have writing. This was from a limited set. She'll have a sticker, which sometimes will be for a special run. Sometimes it's just a regular sticker. This one, like I said, was special. Um, so she signed it and numbered it because there are only 25 in this color. Um, but as you can see, this is just what they are. Now, size-wise, you can see compared to the palm of my hand. And I'll show you compared to Shiza. There's you an idea of size. I think Sarah roughly prices them um, individually. I think it's about $20 including shipping. They're really worth it. Now you can either just leave them like this and as you see they come in cool colors. Or you can have them painted. And it's really simple. You might have to do a teeny bit of sanding but not really. Um, you get them prepped and primed and have the artist or yourself go at it. And as you can see they make really lovely painted little pieces. Um, this one is the Frisian. You can see the sculpting of Sarah's initials right there. And this is what I'm talking about on the back. You know, it has a sticker. We took the magnet off. Um, but as you can see, you can paint the little background a fun color to match the pattern, and you just go for it. Um, obviously, you know, it's this would be more of a Frisian sport horse type thing, but I really liked them. Um, I love these things. So, Really cheap if you want one. And if you get them painted, I think most artists charge between, um, I've seen anywhere from $25 to $50 to paint. Um, also, if you can paint, they're really easy to paint yourself. The briar mold of this month, week, whatever I end up doing this as, is Ruffian. I have refound my love in this mold. It's by Sue Sifton. Um, I have now several in progress. I have a re-sculpted one in progress, a painted in progress, and um, hopefully one more re-sculpt getting started. This is a custom one. Um, I like this mold's face. I like the sculpting detail in this mold. It's one of the few briar molds that actually has sculpting detail that I actually like. Um, I think it's one of the better ones. Granted, there's some Everill ones now coming out that are pretty good, like Tatalis and Alborozo, but as a whole, this is one of my favorite guys. The mo uh, the sculpt has so much movement to it. Um, my least favorite thing is the tail, but that's why you get them customized. Overall, I think this is a really great mold. It's pretty versatile. Oh, excuse me, versatile. In the custom show ring, you can pull off um, thoroughbred. You can pull off. Um, I've seen a few pull off Mustang, but you kind of have to rough the sculpt up a little bit. Um, and I've seen some. Um, appendix quarter horse pulls off. I've seen quarter horse a few, a, full, ugh, a few times. I'm really not a fan of this mold as a quarter horse. That's the stock horse, you know, addict, quote unquote, inside of me. Um, but it's a really nice mold. Um, I highly suggest it if you don't have one. This is one, of, like I said, one of the few that, you know, I think retain those little details that I really like in artist residence so much, the wrinkles, things like that. Um, a nice face. Uh, one, the face is one thing I'm having really reworked on my um, custom to get this face just more like a running thoroughbred. The really flared nostrils and the, you know, um, excuse me, the veins and stuff. But this is, like I said, this is a new, uh, I used to have several of them, several customs. I made a mistake and sold a lot of them. Um, but like I said, I'm rebuilding that up now. So, all right guys, that is it for now. There's gonna be a giveaway video after this. It might already be posted with this one, but probably not. It might actually even be before. Thanks for watching and thanks for sticking out while I had a little bit of a slow time. Bye guys.